Hello, hello, hello. Happy hump day. Hope everybody had a great start to their week. If you are new here, welcome to LaShawn Terry Gang Gang. And um, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you know my lazy behind upload next. Um, so, before we get into this, you know what? Let's hit that intro. Now that we're back, as you can see, I ordered a ice cream machine. Um, I've been looking at ordering an ice cream machine because I do like ice cream sometimes. But also, too, y'all know I was doing keto and carnivore. And um, I ordered Keto Chow. And that was one of the ways that uh, a lot of people use their Keto Chow. They would make ice cream with it. And, um, you know, it was like a dessert, you know, opposed to going to the store and getting the ice cream that's not good for you, you know, a lot of sugar in it, or getting those nasty keto ice creams or whatever people would use the keto chow to, to make ice cream with. Um, so I thought about it, and a lot of people was getting those Ninja Creamies, and um, it was a, it's a $200 machine. Um, you could have found them for cheaper you know, some places when they have a sale or Amazon day or whatever, but just never pulled the trigger on it. I think it was way too much going on with it for me. But what happened is why I pulled the trigger on it now is that I am going to be starting off with a dessert uh, business. And um, which some of y'all may not know this past year, we started a booster club for the basketball boys, and I was over the concession stand. Um, my job was to shop for the concession stand, cook for the concession stand, and run the concession stand. So <laughs> basically, I did everything for the concession stand. And um, to me, what um, I learned was, because I ain't never been in the food business, I sold clothes, you know, I I worked in uh, the food um, industry um, at a college in Long Island. I worked for the um, the food service there, so I knew how to set things up and all of that. But I never cooked for it. I just served and was cashier. But as I got into it, I learned that the food was what was going to make money, and not so much the candy and stuff like that. So I just started doing, you know, um, making different things to cook. You know, my plan was come have dinner with us and watch your kids, grandkids or whoever play basketball games, play their basketball games. So um, that was my motto. And so I would just fix stuff like I would do at home. Uh, my husband actually thought when I would tell him what I fixed, I was cooking at home. And I said, no, this is for the concession stand. And he was like, what? <laughs> and so, he, you know, he just said, um, you need to be getting paid, you know, maybe start you up a little business, you know, whatever, because uh, that's crazy that you're not getting paid for, um, you know, um, fixing all of this stuff and it was a lot of work but my goal was to make money for these boys um and so i didn't mind i think also it was uh god's calling for me to serve his people um you know i have been in a down depressed kind of mood you know um, with my health and things like that and just kind of shut down and so um also as well my youngest is going to be a senior um, when they start back to school in July. And basically, I've been a stay-at-home mom for my oldest son to be 26 in December. But um, I've been a stay-at-home mom for, I think he was two. 
shoot, for like 22 years. It's been over 20 years and my life revolved around my kids and my husband, you know? And so I really have no direction of what I wanted to do once my old, my youngest son is out of the house. Um, and, you know, my husband will always ask me, you know, what's your direction? What are you going to do? You know, um, your youngest is about to, you know, be out of the house and I don't have no more kids. All my kids are young adults. And so I do, I did love, you know, selling clothes. You know, y'all know I started with LuLaRoe. Um, and I do still have some if y'all interested in buying. I still have a lot of pieces left. But, um, and I did enjoy it. And so I've always wanted to sell, you know, just be like a well-rounded um, boutique where I sell everything that, you know, ladies wanted. Um, but we all know that take a lot of money. <laughs> And at the time, my kids were young, so that was a no-go. But um, I really, you know, me cooking for other people was not something I was remotely interested in just because I know how people can be, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, they get something for you, oh, it's no good, I didn't like it, you know, blah, 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 blah. You know, that was just something I want to do. And I had people asking me and I said, no, I just cook for my family and my friends. That's it. I have no interest in, you know, um, doing any type of catering whatsoever. But um, people love my food at the concession stand. Like I would have. People, they were saying that people was coming in and stopping by the concession stand just to see what I fixed between the food and the desserts. Now, the dessert I started off fixing was banana pudding. Again, I'm a hustler, so I'm going to find a way to make some money. You can believe that. Um, whatever I'm selling, I'm going to sit back, think about it, look and see what's selling, what's not, what's more expensive, what's making money, what ain't making no money. And um, I give him my all when I do some. I never do anything half-ass. Um, so they started, the kids started calling my concession stand the bougie concession stand. Hold on, let me get something to drink. You know, my son done took my dog on bottled waters. That's clear. Um, I was sick of that boy. Anyways, he always taking or eating something of mine. Um, anyways, me and I don't got no water. And my throat is dry. Um, so, yeah, people, you know, started coming to the concession stand just to see what I cooked. It, it was really um, a big deal. And, um, you know, they were saying I set the bar high when it comes to concession stands because nobody was doing that. Let's be honest. And nobody was doing that. <laughs> so I would make stuff like steak. Um, steak and, and cheese with peppers and onions. I started off doing, um, we, we already did nachos and it was just with the, the cheese, the canned cheese and jalapenos. And people love jalapenos like it ain't nobody business. Jalapenos and Dr. Pepper and Takis. But... <laughs> Um, I said, you know what, let's spice this, spice this up. We was having a special event and I said, let me put, do some meat with some, um, homemade guacamole, you know, the, the works like you, as if you would go to a restaurant. And so that was the start of it. And then, um, I started saying, you know what, let me see how they'll take to the desserts, you know, so my go-to dessert, that's easy. And no brainer is banana pudding. Um, and so I was making that. And I remember the first day I made it in my head. I'm always thinking something is going to be easier and simple than what it really is. And when I started doing it, it was not as easy and as simple like dishing it up. You know, I had to pre-make them because we get really busy. And most of the time I'm in there by myself and I can't be sitting up there scooping out nothing and trying to decorate it and all of that foolishness. So I had to pre-make it and then, you know, put them in the refrigerator. So 
um, at this particular day, we had the first game was the boys freshman team. We would have about five games. It would be the boys freshman team, the the girls freshman um, JV team, the boys uh, JVB team, the girls uh, varsity, and then the boys varsity. So I would literally be there like all day. I would have to get up early to cook. Then I would have to get there early to set up and do what I need to do to open up, try to open up before the game. So I had the game started at the first game started at 1.30. And so I had everything set up with these banana puddings. So I'm doing it and time is going past. I got a mess going across the counter. It's after 1.30. It's probably about 2 o'clock by then. And so the varsity head coach walks in and I'm thinking to myself, soon when I saw the door open, I know he's probably like, what the hell are you in here doing? And he looks, peeks in the door, and I said, I know I'm late, but I'm coming. And I got this mess going across the counter. I got some of the cups, most of the cups made up with these butter cookies in there. And he was like, his mouth just dropped like, oh, my gosh, she is not in here making banana pudding. <laughs> and so um, that's where it started, you know. And like I said, my husband was just like, you need to be getting getting money from some of this and then some of the money will go to the booster, the boys booster or whatever. And I was just like, I don't know. And so then my friend was like, have you ever thought of, you know, um, starting up like a catering, just a little small something, something, maybe on the weekends, I don't know, you deliver it or whatever. And she was telling me how her cousin in Dallas um, is the first person to have a dessert um, vending machine in, I want to say, the United States, if not the country. Like, she would rent a ghost kitchen and um, make these desserts and sell them. And it became so popular to where she would get, she got vending machines and would place them in different places and they would run out and she would make this stuff fresh every day and have to stock. And I was like, wow, really? Why ain't nobody else ever thought of that? <laughs> but um, I said, okay. And she was like, so, you know, I have all of these like parents, grandparents coming to me, you know, um, at the school, you know, the booster ladies, they are looking forward to coming to see what I fixed and all of this. And I said, you know what? Maybe that's God's calling for me because I really, you know, like I said, my thing was clothing. But as we all know, what our direction may be and what God's direction may be is two different things. <laughs> Something that I had no interest in doing. Um, God said, this is what I want you to do. This is the direction I want you to start at. And so, you know, I prayed about it, you know, talked to my husband, of course. I want a business plan first. He did that to me with the um with the LuLaRoe. I had to give him a whole business plan, y'all, for my own money. <laughs> well, our money. But um, you know, um, I said, you know what? It's the end of the the basketball season is over. I've been doing um concessions for other sports, but we do have um, this senior uh, thing that's basketball thing that's coming up with senior boys from all over the valley are, you know, coming to play or whatever. And I said, you know, maybe I could start it now. Um, I went to the um, athletic director and I asked him about maybe coming in at lunchtime to serve to the students and the teachers, you know, my dessert. So we're still working on that. But also, too, I'm going to be doing concessions for K through eight basketball. And I spoke to the principal there, which she is one of the booster moms. And um, basically, I can sell it as part of the concessions. Um, so when when so um, yeah, so I would figure, you know, I start looking up to see what desserts I can fix and work on. I can't just sell banana pudding all the time. That's going to get kind of boring. So um, I need to work on different type of desserts that I can bring in and, you know, kind of just like start testing. I, I don't want to test when it comes time for me to sell. <laughs> 
So at 14 minutes in, I figured not only can I make cheesecakes, puddings, cake, regular cakes, you know, whatever, I can do like ice cream desserts. And so I said, this is a perfect time now for me to get an ice cream machine. And also, you know, my family loves ice cream and we know ice cream is not cheap. I normally will buy ice cream for the house when it's on sale at um, Safeway for like two for four or three for six. And I will buy ice cream. Um, other than that, I don't buy no ice cream at no six, seven, eight, nine, ten dollars for, you know, a gallon or whatever. My kids, they'll go through a gallon in one day. So I figured this would be time for me to play around. Um, I could do this for my family and myself. You know, we have we don't have to buy ice cream anymore. And um, it came down to the machine that I want. So I looked at a bunch of YouTube videos. And it was basically the Cuisinart, the Ninja Creamy, and um, basically like one of those bowl freezing type of machines. And basically with the bowl freezing type machines, you have to freeze the bowl first for 20, I think for 16 to 24 hours before you can make the ice cream. Which for me, because I'm kind of like a spur of the moment person, that would not probably have worked. Then with the um, Ninja Creamy, um, it only makes one pint and you have to use their cups. So that was another no-go for if it was just for my family, then yeah. But um, if, it, if I'm making it and using it for a business, that's not going to work. A, a pint is just not going to work. It's not going to be enough. And with the Ninja Creamy, you have to make up your batch 24 hours ahead of time. And then the next day, then you put it in to make ice cream. So that's how you had to do it with the Ninja Creamy. It's just too much. So I went with um, the Cuisinart. Um, with this has a compressor, which you just make up your batch and pour it in and go and um it makes up a nice size batch um also too this was um one of the more cheaper of the compressor ice cream machines normally those compressor machines will run you anywhere from five hundred dollars and up now this wasn't cheap this is a three hundred dollar machine uh i ordered this from jc penny I don't know when the last time I got anything from JCPenney, uh, let alone ordering, but they ship pretty fast because I just pulled the trigger on this maybe like two days ago and it showed up today and it said it was supposed to ship on the 29th. So I was pretty surprised for it to show up today. Um, and so um, that's why I went with this one because of the price and because of how simple it was for what for my lifestyle. So let me take it out the box and show y'all. So basically this is it. And my plan was I was going to play around with it tonight. But because it was just delivered with this one, um, if it has to be stored in a upright position, basically how you see it right there. If not, uh, you have to sit it in the correct position for 24 hours. I guess whatever the the um, gel or liquid in it that gets it cold has to settle where it's supposed to settle and if not you can ruin the machine so i'm gonna have to let and i just took it out the box and we all know with shipping it wasn't um shipped probably in the upright position let alone probably in the store so um i'll have to let it sit for 24 hours um, so I probably don't play around with it until maybe Friday or tomorrow night because I'm just taking it out the box. But let me take this out the box. I just wanted to tell you that right quick. So basically this is the machine. It has a digital um, pad on it. This is one of the paddles. I'm thinking this is the paddle for the gelato. Let me open it. So this is the gelato, I guess, or sorbet. You can make sorbets, gelato, and ice cream in this. 
you can do mix-ins i've watched a whole bunch of videos and it's just really simple so um this is the booklet this is the second paddle for the gelato or sorbet um how do i get this off the tape was on it to keep the lid in place is there any more tape on this thing oh, there we go so you got a caution thing in here this is what it says unit should remain upright at all times if unit is turned on its side or upside down, you will need to return it to the upright position and wait 24 hours before using. So, um, like I said, I don't think it was, you know. So this is the ice cream paddle. Just so you can see how the two look. So this is the gelato paddle. And then this is the bucket. Let me sit this down. So this is the bucket that you pour and that's the little thing that the paddle hunkers down in right here. And this is basically, you know, a little tabletop, um, you know, machine. And you can, um, it does, it does take, um, I don't know how to put this, uh, put that back in there, but it does take a little bit longer than some of the other ones, like the creamy, the Ninja Creamy, you can do in two minutes, uh, whereas this one, it may take you 25 minutes or more. But again, it was simple to me, and it's what I was looking for. I need simple, I don't need nothing with all of these. 25,000 steps. Um, as you can see, it's a, also too with the, with the compressor machines, you can leave the bucket in to keep it cold after it's done. But um, as you can see, it makes uh, one and a half quarts of homemade ice cream, gelato, no need to pre-freeze bowl, makes batch after batch. So once you make your first batch, if you have another batch that you want to make of a different flavor, you just throw it inside the machine like i say you don't have to do no prepping like freezing the bowl or anything so you can make as much as you need back to back to back um again i got this from jc penny and it was um you know why this ain't going in here dum dum because the bowl got to go in here first <laughs> But, but um, I went with JC Penny because y'all they had a um, they had a sale. They had coupons. It was on sale, and then um, it was an extra, I believe, thirty percent off. So I think with everything, I paid about two sixty nine. I believe with tax and everything, two sixty nine. So I got a little bit of a um a discount, and again the shipping was quick, so I wasn't expecting to get it until next week sometime. Um, but it came early, and so um, I will be filming me making desserts and you know ice creams and trying this out. So until then, have a great rest of your week. And peace.